Hey guys, this is the second part of getting OBS's virtual camera feature to work with your web realm backdrop or green screen. We will be adding the virtual camera to meeting softwares that don't have virtual backgrounds in this video. If you're using Zoom or didn't watch the first part, please visit the video here or click the link in the description to be taken to part one of this series. All right, so let's go ahead and add a chroma key to the camera that we added in part one. Navigate to the bottom left in the sources box, right click on your camera source select filters. The filter effects window will pop up now. Navigate down to the effects filters box and right click. Select chroma key. Chroma key settings vary from user to user based on the lighting, the setup, and many other factors. And unfortunately, we cannot give a hard number for each as it will be different from person to person. Therefore, we recommend taking time to move each bar so that the key is as clean as possible. Once we add the background image later on, you can always come back and tweak further. Once you're satisfied with the first round of changes, click close. Next, let's add a virtual background image. Navigate to the bottom left once again. In the sources box, right click, hover over add and select image. The image settings window will pop up. You'll wanna click browse and select the image that you'd like to use as your background. Once you've inserted the image, select okay. Depending on the image you use, you may need to size it up or down to fit the preview window. To do this, click on the image source and a red outline will appear around the image in the preview window. Click on any corner and drag it in or out as necessary to fit it within the preview window to your specifications. The image source will now be on top of the sources box, which will cover your camera. To fix this, just click on the image source and drag it below the camera source. You will now see your camera with the background image behind you. You can now go back into the chroma key settings for the camera source and adjust further if needed. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the virtual camera so that it can be discovered in your meeting software. On the right sidebar, select Start Virtual Camera. OBS will now be able to be recognized as a camera source in your meeting software. Please note that you will have to keep OBS open while using this feature. Once the virtual camera is started, let's navigate to your preferred meeting software. In this example, we're going to be using Google Meet, but you can use whatever program you'd like as long as it allows you to pick a camera source. Navigate to the settings area of your meeting software and find the area that you would use to change the camera. We want to select OBS virtual camera as our camera source. If you did it correctly, your edited camera from OBS will now start showing up in your meeting software. You can navigate back to OBS and flip between scenes and change your background as you want and it will be reflected in your meeting software as long as the virtual camera option is started. You have now successfully integrated OBS's virtual camera into your meeting software. If you have any other questions regarding integration of OBS's virtual camera and your meeting software, feel free to leave a comment down below or email us directly. Contact information is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.